Hey guys, it's Armfro here again. Got another battle versus Pinata Bob. This is an OU match. Um, I saw in last Choose That Pokemon that um, you touch my ooh la la, my ta la la, or something like that. Or, and, um, of course, make fun 100. We're tied. Then, uh, then um, what is it? Shuckle went up one. Then I saw Xenon battle uh, go up for Zoella. So, you know what? I had to use both. Um, so, I'm using both Zoellas and Shuckle in this battle. He's going to use his little turtle guy, Scat Turtle. And as I just messed with my computer there. Um, I go for the Stealth Rocks as he just goes straight for the Shell Smash. I'm like, oh, um, that probably means he's either Sashed or has like a red card because he does have Sturdy. Um, that's his natural ability. Um, I know his other ability is actually Swift Swim. Um, so if he does have red card that could be causing trouble for me, um, right here, I went for the Stealth Rocks. Um, just to get it set up on this guy, because he has some guys on his team that it, that could do damage. His Duramatan and his um, Scizor does do decent damage too. So he's going to go for the Shell Smash again, getting plus four in attack and speed. Um, right here, I know my def my purely defensive Swampert um, for the two Zuelas and Sh and uh, what is his face Shuckle. I had to use more of a defensive team um, just because. I don't have amazing sweepers, and I need guys to take hits on this team. So I go for the Earthquake. It is super effective. It is going to bring him down to a sturdy ability, which I thought you would use Red Card, because I saw, after I saw that, I just saw sturdy ability, and then him, like, going, woo, woo. I'm like, oh, shit, Red Card. But um, it didn't. He has Leftovers, actually, which I just kind of, like, sighed a really big sigh of relief. He goes for the Waterfall here. I know I'm purely defensive Swamper. It's going to do a huge chunk to him. But it's not going to kill because Swampert is that baller. Um, it's easily going to take him out from where he's at. Um, so now that is a really big sweeper out of the way. Um, he says he was really hoping he would sweep, but it's really hard to sweep with the first guy, especially if you have Sturdy. There's a lot of priority guys. So right here he goes into his uh, Jellicent, and right here I decide to see what he goes, see what he does, see if I can get an earthquake off. Um, see how much damage I could do to this guy, because that makes me think if he's defensive, especially defensive-based. Um, so his Jellicent is not going to do anything to this guy. He goes for the Ice Beam. It's going to bring me a do um, It's going to be a 2 hit KO. Right here, I just wanted to go for the Roar for him, predict just just in case he over-predicted. Um, but he actually goes for the Ice Beam, easily takes my uh, Swampert out. But you know what? He did good. He took out his uh, potential sweeper, and he set up Stealth Rocks. That's really good. So right now, I'm going to go for the Mountain Buggy. Um, it's because I do have the Toxic, but then he goes for Taunt. I'm like, crap! I didn't know Jealous. I didn't know any Jealous around Taunt. Um, but now, I really have to get the hell out of here. Water is super effective against um, Shuckle, so I decided to send him as well as because he is Dragon and Dark. But sadly, he predicts that and goes for the Ice Beam. It's going to do a huge chunk to my guy. I'm like, okay, I've got a Scarfed uh, Hustle Crunch. I can outspeed this guy into... Oh, crap. He freezes my poor little Zuelas, my double header. I really wanted to one-hit KO this guy with a, with a Hustle Stab Super Effective Crunch. He has actually pretty good, decent... He has decent attack, 85 base attack. With Hustle, it increases it by 1.5. That's by, like, 43, let's say. That's, like, over 120 attack. And plus stab, plus super effective. So it would have been a huge chunk. Sadly, it doesn't, I, I can't get it off. Right here, I send on my Heatron just to get the Toxic off. I do have speed. I don't have any speed EVs. But Jellicent is just naturally slower than Heatron. He's just actually decently fast. He goes for the Taunt. I can't stall him out as much because I do carry... um. Protect on this one is especially a defensive Heatron um, with Protect, uh, Earth Power, Fire Blast, and Toxic. So I'm going to go for the Earth Power, see how much damage his um, Scald is going to be doing to my guy. See if see if he is going to be going for the Scald. I get the crit, which it doesn't really matter too much, um, just because he, he does carry the Recover. And Scald is going to do a pretty hefty chunk to my, heat, to my Heatron, and I'm going to have to switch out. I don't have my Rotom Wash on this team, sadly. But I do have my Latios just to be completely immune to the, um, well, not immune, but Scald's not going to do crap to him. So right here, I do switch to my Blue Angel um, with, as he switches into his Dawn fan. I'm like, oh, interesting. Uh, which which is really named, really, really weirdly named Ella Strike, which I don't get too much. But you know what? Right here, he's going to go for the Ice Shard. 
I really wanted him to go for the Stealth Rocks, predicting them to switch out. And Ice Charge doesn't even seem to be doing that much damage, so I'm just going to go for the Surf, just to easily take him out. Um, but sadly, he has a Sturdy Ability. <laughs> Two guys with Sturdy Abilities, really. Um, but Sturdy Ability is not going to let me kill him. And right here, I'm going to predict that he's going to go either for the Stealth Rocks or Ice Shard. Um, just hoping that he goes for, um, Ice Shard, which he does, so he's, um, <laughs> Don fans not going to do jack to my, um, Heatran. I really didn't want that damage on my Latios, mostly because I don't have any recovery on my Latios, and I just want it to keep, just in case he needs to take a hit later on in the game, especially from Jellicent. So right here, I'm just going to go for the Earth Power just to easily take him out. I did not want to miss with the Fire Blast. That would suck. Um, I know Earth Power could easily take this guy out. So there goes the dead Dawn fan, and I'm looking pretty good right here. So, yeah, he's going to set out his um, Dramatan. I, 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 I'm weirdly weird saying that guy's name, but I'm going to go for the Protect, predicting he's going to go either for Earthquake or Superpower or U-Turn. He actually bridged my switch on the Latios, goes for the U-Turn. I, um, I scouted him out, so now I know... I could just go for the Fire Blast, do as much damage as I can. Um, actually, I might, I, actually, I'm probably just going to go for the U-Turn, um, just because I know he's gonna, he's probably going to predict this switch into my um, into his Jellicent, which he does. Davy Jones comes out. Um, and so this guy is going to take an Earth Power to the face. With the Toxic Damage, it's going to neutralize his leftovers, so another Earth Power is going to easily take out this um, Jellicent, which is literally probably the biggest threat on this guy's team to me um because only thing that could really take him take it do a hefty chunk to this jellicent was my latios and jellicent is a naturally special defense bulky um so my biggest hope was to toxic stall him out um even with recover toxic goes over and over and over again so it's just a really good play that jellicent is out of the way and now he has to send out his great ape again I'm obviously just going to go for the Protect, um, just see what he's going to do, um, as he actually goes for the Earthquake, which it's kind of interesting. I haven't seen a Dramatan with an Earthquake. I was actually predicting he was going to go for the um, Superpower, um, but right here, I'm actually going to predict um, that he's going to go for the Earthquake again, and I'm going to switch to my Shuckle, and then he switches out his... Um, what's his face? What is his face? It's Magnezone. And I'm like, oh, crap. The only attacking move I have on my Shuckle is, is Rock Slide. So, I do not see Leftovers, so I know he's not a subbing orient. And he goes for the Signal Beam, gets a Confuse Hacks, which is doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to go with the Power Split, just so his um, special attacks don't do jack to me. I literally have 22 and 24 attack and special attack. And it's just, it's just hilarious, because it literally cripples Pokemon. Um, with the oh, look how much signal beam did there. I almost recover it with leftovers. I'm gonna hit myself with confusion. Um, right here, I just went for the rock slide to see how much damage I could do this Magnezone. Um, but there's nearly nothing he could do except for switch into um, his. Actually, I, I thought he was gonna switch into his Scizor, but he actually switches a really bad play. Switches in, into his Duramitan, and I'm gonna hit him with a rock slide, and that's gonna be a dead guy. Whew. I still say hi hi Daruma. I don't know about you guys. I still say hi hi Daruma. That's just how I think of him. But right here, now is what she, he's going to switch into what he should have done before, which is a Scizor. Um, I'm going to go for the power split. Obviously, um, his bullet punch is still going to do a hefty chunk to me, just because I'm he has like ridiculous defense, um, just low HP. But right here, I snap out of confusion. Go for the power split. And now his attack is crippled, not as much because I did power split with the Magnezone, but it's still pretty low because Magnezone has terrible attack anyways. So right here, I hope that I live the bullet punch, go for the rest, and I don't. Poor little Shuckle. Oh, buggy. You did, you did a good run. You killed the you killed the high room. And now the only thing he has left is Magnezone and Scizor. I can easily take out both with Fire Blasts. So he's going to switch into his Magnezone. Hoping that um, I'm going to miss my Fire Blast here, because he's probably Scarf, probably has him power fighting or ground. So, but I'm going to hit the Fire Blast. That's going to be easy KO for, um, that's going to be a fried Magnezone. 
Hoopza, Hoopza, really? But all he has left is the Sozor, and I could go for the Fire Blast. I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. I really did not... I was actually hoping that I wouldn't miss because he could have superpower, which would be able to easily KO my Heatran, but he goes for the Bullet Punch, just trying to get crits, uh, missing with my Fire Blast, some hacks. That's going to be a good game, Pinata Bob. Thanks for watching, guys. Choose what Pokemon you want me to use next. Thanks for watching, guys. Read, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay classy.